What's up guys, Stefan, s &E's Garage. Here we have our single jet ski trailer behind us. Uh, this is the trailer that came with the total jet ski that we purchased. Um, actually now it would be last year because now we are um, into January of 23. Um, so what we did yesterday is we took the jet ski off of this trailer, moved it onto my double trailer because that was the plan all along. Um, and now we're going to get this trailer ready to sell. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to replace all of the wiring and all of the lights on this uh, unit here. Um, so I went ahead, I purchased a wiring kit and a submersible light kit here from Amazon. I'll link this down in the description below. Uh, you'll see here it's going to come with the tail lights. This tail light will have the provisions underneath for the license plate light. It's going to come with the side marker lights. For the front sides here you'll see we're missing one on this side and then it's going to come with all of our wiring and even a license plate bracket uh, so let's tear right into it you'll see here um, that this harness that's on here has been spliced and poked and prodded and uh, whoever put this on used wire nuts to secure the, the wiring to the light, which is a no-no, especially in a submersible uh, trailer. You're gonna be dipping this stuff into salt water. You don't want exposed wires. Uh, so we're gonna do this the correct way. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and get all of these lights off. I don't care if these break, because like I said, we're gonna be putting new ones on it. Um, so I'm just gonna set you up on the tripod. We're gonna zip these off with the electric gun and uh, then we'll start pulling our wires through the frame. I'll show you exactly how we do that. So like I said here, we're just gonna zip these off. We have new lights, we don't really care. We don't really care here if these plastics break. I think that's exactly what's gonna happen here. Yeah, it's seized into the light. Let's see if we can get that one off. If not, like I said, we're just going to break the lights off. And then we'll have to use a pair of vice grips to hold what's left of the stud that was in the light. Get them off. Yeah, let's just break these lights off. It's going to be the easiest way to do it. Unfortunately, when you're dipping your trailer and your lights into salt water, this is kind of unavoidable. is these two little nubs here and here. So we're just gonna get the rest of this plastic out of here. We're gonna grab these nubs with a vice grip and we're gonna pull the bolts out that way. So we're just gonna go ahead really quickly and snip these wires here after the wire nuts, like so. This side actually doesn't have a wire nut on it, it's kinda weird. Uh, so we're gonna snip this just to get this out of the way. And now, like I said, we're gonna grab our vice grips, if I can find them. There we go, these will work. And we are going to grab the back side here, like I had mentioned. You wanna get it on there as tightly as you can. And then we are going to grab our electric impact, And you'll 
you'll see here, we got the stud off and the nut is still in my socket. So now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side here. On the second bolt, we'll get all that out of the way. Just keep in mind, the left side is where your license plate goes, so that's where we're going to have to put our license plate bracket uh, with our new light. But let me get that other nut off. Go from there. All right, guys, same setup here. Vice grip on the one side. We're going to put our socket on this side. And then I'm just going to wiggle it off. Like so. So here is our broken license plate bracket and the rest of the light out of the way. I'm just going to clean this up real quick, throw this other stuff out. We're going to set this up back here and uh, start pulling some wires through. We got to mess with the other side as well. I'm not going to show you me doing the other side. You saw how I did this one. So I'll do that off camera. All right, guys. So we got our lights off. You'll see we just have some pigtails sticking out of here. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working up front because what we have to do is snake these wires from the front of the trailer down to the back. So you'll see on the left side, we have the brown and white wires. And on the right side, we have the brown and green. So we're going to keep that the way it is. Um, so what I am going to do is cut these wires right about here. And then we're going to tape those wires to these and then we're going to pull these back this way and that's going to pull our new wires down um, along the path that they need to go to get back here and be hidden inside of the frame. Alright guys, so you'll see what we did here. We taped our new wire to our old wire, the yellow and brown to yellow and brown. It looks like white in the back, but I guess that's because of how faded it is. Uh, so I am going to set you up on the tripod and we are going to start to pull the wire from the back of the trailer and we're going to watch it get fed through basically back to where it needs to go. So set you up just like this and let's watch the wire. see the wire nuts. They put the wire nuts here inside of this frame. The wire nuts are in here. So I have to try to fish these wire nuts through. Get some pliers. See what I can figure out here. So hopefully whoever wired your guys trailer last isn't as stupid as the people that did this one because they hid the wire nuts inside of the frame which is ridiculous so I just pulled two bolts out of here they're about this long there was one here and one on that side I pulled them out and I was able to manipulate this frame a little bit so now I have my wires here and if you see over here I am now beginning to pull it through so it is coming through that's a good sign we're gonna pull it the rest of the way through All right, guys so you'll see here we have our new wire all the way through and I want to show you a reason that I always like to replace the wiring on these trailers you'll see that this here was actually a break in this wiring at some point that somebody repaired and they didn't do a very good job because it looks like all they did was splice it and tape it but let's open this up take a look at how these wires look and you'll see in there they're very brown and discolored 
and in fact we could probably break this pretty easily if we tried so that's why I always like to replace these so what we're going to do here is pull our tape that we put on here to pull our wire through off like so and then we just have to stick this wire through this hole and now our wire is all the way through. I can put these bolts back in. Um, but just in case we have to, I am gonna leave them bolts out and we're gonna pull the wiring on this side through. All right guys, well we had a lot of unnecessary work here because somebody uh, many years ago, the last time they set this trailer up, did it very um, idiotically and put the wire nuts inside of the frame instead of outside. Don't know why, because they're going to get wet either way. There's holes in the frame that fill it up with water anyway, but it is what it is. So you'll see we have our pigtails sticking out here and here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to set our length here on this tongue connector. We're going to pull our wires all the way through until we have the right length here. And then we're going to trim them at the back. So let's set this up, uh, get this to where I think it needs to be, and then go from there. All right, guys, so instead of relying on this old rusted ground here, um, what I was originally going to do is just splice this to that, but I went ahead and I, I crimped an eyelet onto this wire, and then I put some heat shrink on the end of it to seal it. And I'm going to go ahead and right about here, I'm going to drill a pilot hole, and then we're going to install this new ground um, with a screw into here. That way we know for a fact um, that we have a good ground. All right, so I actually decided to go right here underneath the uh, the ball receiver of the trailer, and all I'm going to do here is snip that off. Now we know this whole trailer is going to be grounded very well, and we can set our wires basically to this length. length. So I'm going to pull these two wires back until they are tight with this and this is going to be our length to plug into your vehicle more or less and then we can go ahead and put our you know lights and everything in I am gonna leave a little excess here so that we can wire these in if we want to I'm still not I'm undecided if I want to even bother wiring them in or not I might just take this one off and leave it alone that way there's one less splice in the wires but we'll see alright guys so we got our length set up here hopefully the person that buys this trailer Appreciates the job I did here because I taped this up real nice with some wire harness tape. It's going to look really nice. It's going to protect those wires. Um, so now, like I said, I'm just going to pull a length of this like that. And then here like that so that I can go ahead and set up these uh, marker lights if we decide to do that. So let me take a look at them, see how they are secured. Um, and if it's easy enough, we'll do it. If it looks like it's going to be a pain in the ass, I'll leave them alone because they're not really required. Um, so let me see what we got and we'll go from there. And then once we do those two, I want to do those first if I'm going to do them. And then we'll make our final trim back here. I'm going to try to stick a couple, maybe, you know, eight, nine inches of wire down into the frame. That way when the next owner has to change the lights again because they will, uh, they won't have to rewire it. They'll have enough wire in there that they can pull some slack through. Um, that way, you know, it's, it's less of a hassle for them. So let's take a look at those marker lights. Actually, I'll do it with you right here. So they are actually screwed in with self-tappers. So these will actually not work on this trailer anyway because of the way that that is set up. I could screw them in there, but that's not going to look right. So, you know what? We're not going to bother doing them. I'm going to take that one off. I'm going to pull the wire straight through and we're going to just do the back. So these tail lights here are grounded through the trailer, which was basically why we had to attach a ground to the frame of the trailer here. And you'll see where these bolts go. It's kind of shitty. So we're going to take a wire brush here off camera, I'm just gonna show you how I'm gonna do it. And we're gonna clean this up a little bit, that way when we bolt this on, we're gonna put 
the white ground eyelet to one of these bolt holes in the back. We just want to make sure it's grounded. All right, guys. So you'll see we got this light on. Like I said, we put our ground wire right through here, and it's attached at the back here. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing here. I'm going to clean this and that up with a wire brush. We're going to attach the other tail light with the provided hardware and the ground. Um, then we're going to go ahead and snip these wires, get them to about the length I think they need to be. Um, and then, like I said, we're going to feed some back into the frame uh, for the next owner. That way they don't have any problems when they go to rewire their trailer. Again, they'll have plenty of slack. All right, guys, so we went ahead and trimmed our wires. Like I said, we left quite a bit of excess here. So now what we are going to do is use some heat shrinkable butt connectors here to wire our lights together because like I said being water tight is key to the life of these wires and these lights those wire nuts that the previous owner of this trailer used um, could very well be the reason that the lights stopped working I don't know but we aren't going to be doing it that way so we're going to do it the semi-right way. The correct right-right way would be to solder and then use heat shrink. But heat shrinkable buck connectors for something like this um, is totally fine. These aren't sensors that need extremely precise readings or anything like that. We can actually trim this copper a little bit. This is a little long. So let's go ahead. Slide these on, crimp them. Here's my other one. We're going to trim this copper a little bit. Slide it on. Same thing here with the tail lights. Okay. Like so. Brown goes to brown. to green. Let's tighten that up a little bit there. Crimp. Now let's go ahead and grab our lighter. And let the heat do its thing. This is going to make these connections watertight, airtight, and prevent any type of corrosion, especially induced by salt water, which is where these trailers get most of their damage from, is the salt water. Salt water is not easy on anything. It's not easy on your watercraft. It's not easy on your trailer. It's not easy on your car. Um, so we're going to do everything we can to protect them. Now like I said, we're going to stick as much of this excess wiring as we can into the trailer. That way whenever this trailer needs a replacement set of lights, the person will have plenty of wiring to replace them. Uh, so I'm going to do a, go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. I don't think you need to watch me do it again. And uh, then we're going to get the Jeep up here, plug them in, check the trailer out, and we should be done. All right, guys, we have success. Let's just go ahead, check our left blinkers, our right blinkers, and our brake lights, and uh, we should be ready to go.
Alright guys, well I hope this video helped you rewire your trailer, whether it be a jet ski trailer, a boat trailer, a uh, utility trailer. It's going to be pretty much the same, you know, regardless. Um, I am going to go ahead, I'll post down below in the video description the link to these trailer lights. I did buy this kit on Amazon. Um, so again, like I always say, especially if you've watched my videos before, uh, if you do buy from those links, it helps the channel out greatly and we really do appreciate it. Um, so please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, the only thing I'm going to tell you is if you're going to do this on a boat or a jet ski trailer, definitely do it the way we did it. Don't use anything that's not waterproof. Don't use wire nuts. That's just asinine. The kit comes with wire nuts. Um, don't know why, uh, but it does. It comes with wire nuts and it comes with these stupid things. They're not watertight either. Always use watertight connections. The wiring will last longer. The lights will last longer. Um, that's all I got for you. So like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.